With cases of female genital mutilation hitting headlines in Meru County, with three women reportedly dying from the unlawful cultural practice, the Anti-Female Genital Mutilation Board has visited the area. The team, while unveiling a monument in Lare Igembe North in honor of the victims, warned those perpetrating the act to prepare for tough times with the law. We cannot say that using the law is the best way, but we want to talk to these people because we want to change their thinking, we want to change uh, their beliefs so that they can look at uh, FGM like a health hazard and it's an outdated culture that needs to stop. Elsewhere, a family in Cataloni area of Machacos County is mourning the death of three children after fire raised their parents' house Tuesday evening. The fire is said to have started from the sitting room and quickly spread to other rooms. Their mother, who survived the inferno with injuries, is admitted at Machacos Level 5 Hospital. Kufika hapa, dio tulikuta moto, isha ingia kwa nyumba yote. Sasa imetapaka kwa kila room. Sasa kutoka hapo, dio sasa wazima moto walikuwa wamepigi wa simu. Waka respondi wakafika. In another development, man, wife and their son were killed by unknown assailants in Matobo area in the outskirts of Kericho town. The bodies of the three were discovered by neighbors. The killers, however, spared the couple's three-month-old baby. The men are said to have gained access to the house by cutting window grills. Kama vijana, we are sosa, and we are requesting the security fraternity in Kericho County. Yes. The security in this county is becoming worse. Police in Migori have launched a manhunt for gunmen who shot dead an education officer in Kehancha Wednesday. The education officer identified as Robert Onkoba is said to have been shot while entering his home from work. In Kisumu, pupils of St. William Learning Center in the county escaped death narrowly after a strong storm which was coupled with heavy rains ripped off the rooftop of their classrooms. The school head teacher Onyango Ocheng said the incident happened at night and no injuries were reported. Uh, In Mombasa, stakeholders on the war against violent extremism and terrorism across the coast region have expressed concern over rapid evolution in recruitment methods into terrorism. Speaking in Mombasa while reviewing various county action plans in countering violent extremism, they are appealing for a heightened concerted effort to tackle the emerging trend.